six, four against five, eleven. That's a difference right there now. You wonder how much that reach comes into play in this fight too. I talk about it all the time, especially on the amateur side. It, it's it's hard. It's a skill to adapt and kind of work on reach. So we'll see. I think one of the biggest uh, advantages a fighter can have is length. Oh, fight one, and here we go. Three minutes, round one. Connor in the blue. Edwards in the uh, red trunks with the in the blue corner. Keeping his jab out. Connor's definitely pushing the pace. You can see Edward really measuring his distance, so uh, just popping that jab out and uh, just really timing it perfectly. Hey, we told you guys, boxing, yeah. MMA, we're gonna see it all tonight. Maybe all in one fight. A lot sooner than we thought. <laughs> Connor's throwing that overhand right, just trying to connect on one. You can see Connor's really putting everything into every single strike. Looking for that knockout shot. Right. Cardio could catch up to him in the later rounds when you throw that heavy on so many punches. It's going to take so much out of you. Edward's looking clean just on the outside, just kind of controlling the distance. Oh, rushing here. Big counter right there by John Connor. Stiff jab there, Connor. Connor overhand right. Edward looked glazed there for a second. Connor relentless with that overhand right. Again. <laughs> Very close. He's thrown that overhand right so many times. I was going to say that he just went there. Connor would have the body at ease any times he wants it now. Connor doesn't care if he's eating that jab. He keeps on coming forward, just throwing it. That's why he's a fan favorite. He just keeps moving forward. Very Colby Covington type of pace. He's just moving forward the whole fight. Ooh, big overhead right there by Connor. Man, looks like he rocked him a little bit there with that one. Oh, uppercut. Wow, nice Connor there by Edward. Edward's smiling there. Definitely knees are a little loose right now for Edward. John Connor continues to push forward, keeps on moving forward. Just a constant pace. <laughs> Edward keeps on smiling, he's having so much fun in there. Tell these boys both like a war. They like to be in there, they like to be thrown leather and getting hit and thrown back. I know we're not even down with round one already. Love to see the significant strikes thrown. Oh, nice hit, nice clean right by John Connor. Five seconds. With a nice body shot right after there, too. There we go, round one in the books. Very active first round there. Connor is throwing a lot. Fan favorite, trying to pump up the crowd here in Pensacola Bay Center. Yeah, great round for John Connor, I thought. Definitely shorter, we've, we've, we've nailed on it before, 6'4 to 5'11, doesn't matter. Just kept on moving forward, just kept on throwing more active, bigger shots. It almost feels like he has more power. I think Edward's like, that's where the smiles are coming from. The ones that hurt, that's when you smile. Like he's absolutely relentless just walking forward and it can almost be like that uh, just that aggression is harder to deal with with someone who's a little bit more technical it looks like in Edwards where uh, John's making it a little bit of a dirtier fight which makes it harder to deal with sometimes. Right. Sometimes it's very awkward. It's a different style. Watching some highlights right now of round one. Nice overhand right there by Connor. All right. Round two. About to start. Connor back at it, walking forward. But even already 15 seconds into this round, we've seen kind of Edward lead the dance a little bit more. You got to think that his, you know, his cornerman definitely talked to him about, hey, you got to throw too. Like you got to, John's going to walk straight, just keep throwing. He'll maybe walk into something big. Ooh, nice counter there left by John Connor. Body shot. 
MMA and boxing is definitely different, but body shots are so underrated in the game. Is it boxing? I was just about to say that. I feel like you don't see it enough in boxing. And Connor here in the first round and this round has been the, uh, repeatedly going back to the body. So it's interesting to see and definitely uh, will mess with your opponent's cardio. What's the, uh, who was the hardest person to ever get you into the body? Oh, that's a good question. I've been, been dropped by quite a few body shots. <laughs> there's like, you know, you just, you, you fall. Like, there's just nothing. There's a, there's a button there, and it's like, nope, done. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. Big overhand right by Connor. Action right in front of us. Hmm. Halfway through round two, ref Larry Downs wants the guys to work out. Breaking the action. Connor wants to stay here, though, in the corner. Just big looping strikes from Connor, but throwing his whole body weight into it every time you can see. So we said it earlier a couple times, height 6'4", height 5'11", but the weight's the same. The weight of John Connor's in the calves. <laughs> Look at that man's calves, Julian. Especially in boxing, that's where a lot of the power comes from, the lower, the lower torso. Oh, oh yeah. big right hand by Conor right in front of us. All the power is coming from the legs, and you can see it from here. And uh, Conor, he's just walking forward and just throwing bombs over and over again. Gosh, absolute fan favorite here for Island Fights. I think it's evident why, too. Right. <laughs> And I, I love the uh, the bet inside on in the fight game, MMA, boxing as well. And John is just one of those guys you feel good about putting your money in. He's going to fight for your money. It's a definitely big expression in the butt inside of the combat sports world. He's a fighter type of fighter. Yes, he's like yes. to go in there yes. and... Just engage ish just he's exactly. going. He's, he's moving forward and throwing. Five seconds here left of round number two. John getting the crowd going again. Love Doesn't it. seem to be slowing down at all, even uh, keeping this high pace. It's such an underrated trait in any kind of fight. Just if you have the better cardio and you can set the pace and you just don't stop, you will just melt people over and over and over again, especially on this level. Sometimes that's all it is too, is who breaks first? Who can keep it? Who can mentally right. push through all that? That's why it's so important for these guys to get these rounds in. It's experience. Maybe Edward thinks about breaking now, but maybe the next fight he gets more and more through it. So it's definitely a big experience for both men. For round three right now, Connor, I would think, leaning very nicely in both rounds. Yeah, I'd definitely give the edge to Connor in the first two, but uh, we'll see where Edward can pull out this round. Round three, Connor walks right to the ring. Big overhand right there by Edward. Boom, another overhand. Edward switching up his game plan a little bit there. Really pushing the pace forward. To stop a bull, you gotta go right there and hit him. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> John Connor's not stopping though. Edward wants this round. You can see he's walking forward, really pushing it. Connor just relentless as always. <laughs> unbelievable, just an unbelievable pace. The jab's not winning this fight, overhand right's not winning the fight, body's not winning this fight, it's literally pace. It's cardio, it's John Connor just walking straight. Oh, nice overhand left there by Connor. Got Edward on the ropes. Edward punches out of it. Honestly, sometimes with a taller fighter, it makes it harder for those overhands to be seen, too. So uh, Edward might be just having a little bit of issue just be with that height difference. Ugh. Halfway done at round three. Connor is starting to melt Edward right here. Yes. 
God. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, no, I'm just ready. Edward just looks exhausted right now, Jillian. Final minute of the third round. It's asking for a lot in this moment. <laughs> Where do you go when you get this tired in a fight? Is there just a kind of a go-to spot you want to go to, or is it just survival mode? For me, it's on the ground. That's where I want to be, <laughs> jujitsu-wise. But um, yeah, it really is. It's just kind of mentally shutting off and letting your body do what it knows it needs to do. Your body is ready for that. You've trained for that, and it knows that it's gonna. It needs to push these last 30 seconds, so you just go. And it looks like Edwards found that. <laughs> yeah, just going into pilot mode, like you said. Just, just let it take over. Throw it back. We got 15 seconds left in this fight, Connor. These guys through to the very last second. Great fight. Crowd on their feet chair for John Connor. Matchmaker over there, Devin Adams, uh, with a nice little clap chair. You know you love to see that. I'm just throwing belt about just nonstop. Love a lot of action. Quite the fight to kick off the night. I know. I <laughs> like that. I like that. It was... Um, Oh, I'm gonna pull the curtain a little bit for you guys. There was definitely talks of what fight was gonna start the night. There was definitely a couple of different options. Um, I'm happy that they went with this. This was great. Matchmaker Devin Adams, Dean Tool, uh, John Connor versus Edward Sagasi. Great fight to open the night. Here's the highlights of round three. All fight long, John just finding so much success with that uh, the big looping right hand and then the uh, left hook and just constantly landing over and over again with straight power. Man, so much respect for Edward, just kept going. Didn't never back down. That's a hard, John Connor is a hard man to fight with that pace. Let's go to Christopher James with the first result of the night here at Island Fight 71, Pensacola Bay Center. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, our first fight of the night. Make some noise for these two young men. And now, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the belt identically. 30 to 27 for your winner, by unanimous decision, John Connor! John Carter had something to say to the matchmaker there, Devin Adams. Look at that, bringing him back in for a little post-fight interview. I am here with our winner, John Connor. John Connor, man, great job tonight. You won the fight unanimously. You, we were sitting there watching. You dominated all three rounds. How you feeling? I feel great, man, but I really only got one thing to say. I was supposed to fight Bo Nickel tonight, but something happened, and he couldn't make it. So they gave me another opponent. He, they said I was supposed to get him in March. So I want to know, am I going to get him in March or not? So you want the illustrious, the, the superstar wrestler, Bo Nickel, you want him in a boxing match or in an MMA match? I want him in the MMA. He's going to have to wrestle me to death. Well, listen, man, that's a tall test to take on. He's one hell of a guy. But I've seen you here, and I know you, and I know a couple of things about you. One is there's no quit in John Connor. I want to say I ain't never been finished in my entire career. Let's see if he's up to the task. 
That's it, man. Give it up for your man, John Connor. First fight of the night, first call out of the night. It's Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel's fought for us twice in a row here under other fights. Absolute stud. Like, high, high end prospect. Oh, yeah, high level wrestler and uh, quite a bold call out there.